All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. I apologize if I sound just a little bit <laughs> sniffly under the weather. I'm still fighting off this GD cold, but it's not about that. What it's about today on Mod Monday is this little guy right here. Now, I feel like I'm just copying Ruby Roo this week because I'm going to be talking about the iStick 100 watt. TC just upgraded the firmware and now it does 120 watts, but it's still named the 100 watt TC even though it does 120 watts. But whatever. In order to get to know this device just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close. That's right. As we always do, quick short upy closey time. <clears throat> All right, yeehaw, what we have here is the iStick 100 watt TC, but with the new firmware, it does do 120 watts. Now, this has an interesting switch and interesting battery compartments. Two battery compartments, boom, on the side, held on by magnets. This is your switch up here, which you activate by pressing this side in. Interesting, right? It's very clicky, you can kind of just grab it and squeeze it, and you can see it's displaying no atomizer right there. But yeah, that's your switch right there. Now you can lock the fire button via this mechanical switch right here. If you get in there with your fingernail, now it's not going to fire at all. Now you flip it like this, and now it's going to fire. I, eh, I don't know. I don't care. I don't like it. I don't like these little switches like this. You have to get in there with your fingernail and uh, squeeze it over. Now, I know I'm going to get questions about this, but yes, mine is marked sample. This is what they put on devices that they send to reviewers. Sample. This is a production version of the iStick 100 watt TC. Yes, USB in the bottom. They say that you can charge it via this, but they recommend taking your batteries out of the mod to charge. You can also use this for firmware updates. The firmware updates are easy to do. I've upgraded my firmware to one. 0.10, I believe, which gives you 120 watts now on the iStick. There's your spring-loaded 510 connection right there, which works very well. Haven't had any issues with connecting any atomizers or tanks on it. So here's your main display, up-down buttons, and then a menu button. To switch between all the modes, you have to long press the menu button, and you'll see, boop, now it's on stainless steel. Press it again. Boop, now you're in one of the memory functions. Boop, again, boop, again, boop. Again, now you're back to regular wattage mode. Boop, again. Now you're in bypass mode, which basically makes this an unregulated box mod. Press it again. Boop, you're in nickel Fahrenheit mode. Boop, press it again, and you're in titanium mode. And I'm actually going to be leaving this in titanium mode and using my token titanium build on my velocity RDA. Now I'm going to adjust the temperature to where I want it, 450 degrees, and I'm going to leave the wattage at 120 watts in temp mode. Now, you can adjust the wattage in temp mode, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. You have to hold the mode and the down if you want to adjust it down, and you'll see what happens. Now it's getting adjusted down, so now it's going to say, whatever, 107 watts there at 450 degrees. If I want to adjust it back up, I press the mode and the up, and you just hold it goes back up to 120 watts. Now, this is where I'm going to leave it, 450 degrees. I have a titanium build in here, 120 watts, point, uh, what does that say, 2, 4 ohms. Yeah, that's how we're going to, that's how we're going to vape it. Now, you can also run this with a single 18650 in here, and you'll have a wattage output of about 75 watts. Did it drop it down? Nope. It did not. It's showing me a wicked low battery because it's trying to give me the full 120 watts, but you can run it with a single 18650. Both of these 18650s go in up, by the way. Positives up. So yeah, that's all there is to it. There's not much to see up here. What we're going to do is get back out to normal view and we're going to vape this little guy. Now this titanium build I have on here, 470 degrees, 120 watts, 0.24 ohms. It's a really nice vape. It's just performing really well. If you know me, if you watch my videos, you know that temperature control isn't my jam. It's not my thing, but this, this has actually been 
really nice. I found that the temperature is actually pretty accurate. 470 degrees, whether it's on this or on a DNA 200 or on any other temp control, it's all very, very similar feeling. I don't feel like it's too weak or too strong. Either way, I feel like the temp control on this is accurate. The other 80% of the time, I've been rocking it in wattage mode, mostly with sub-ohm tanks, and it's been a nice little performer. The fit and finish on it is surprisingly nice. I feel like this is one of the highest quality products that E-Leaf has ever released. They did the 30 watt, they did the original iStick, which I loved. Loved the 30 watt, I loved the 50 watt. Why wouldn't I love the 100 watt? It's following that same sort of styling, same sort of pattern of upgrade and it's nice. Elif made a nice mod. I'm not crazy in love with the button. It's the kind of button where you squeeze the mod to get it to work. You squeeze it. I always say that I'm a finger guy. I like to finger my mods. I like a button right here that I can press with my finger. And with this, you can kind of do that, but it's really more suited for squeezing. Really, that's just an unbelievable nitpick on my part, but you don't press a button, you squeeze it, which is fine. Now, at the end of the day, are you going to need your vape budget hands for these? Bah, not really. Vapor DNA has them in stock right now for 50 bucks. In fact, if you click over to Fast Tech, they have it in stock for 32.88, which seems like weird pricing to me, but 32.88, bah, sure. I would easily pay 32.88 for this device. But if we're playing the Aliens game where aliens come down, boom, take all my vape gear is the E-Leaf iStick 100 watt with temperature control, something I would seek out and buy. Eh, I don't know, probably not. It's not really amazing, okay? It's good, it's fine. I like using it. I'm not a huge fan of the button, but it's fine. The interface can get a little wonky sometimes, but it's fine. When I got this, it didn't impress me. I was like, oh, it's another, well, you know, 100 watt, double 18650 TC device. It's just another, it's another, thing and I wasn't completely blown away by it. But if you don't have any dual 18650 100 watt temperature control devices, the iStick might be exactly what you're looking for. 3288 on Fast Tech, you can get it from for 50 bucks in the states. Spring loaded 510 on there, it's worked with every atomizer including this Velocity which has a protruding 510 pin. Every tank I've put on there works great. It's good. It's a good device. Ah, I just don't uh I don't know. I don't necessarily need one in my life. I feel like after seven years of vaping, the iStick 100 watt with TC wasn't something I went, oh yeah, that's yeah, I need to have that. That's just so freaking cool. That's just so freaking cool. It's cool. It's fine. It's just a thing. And now I'm rambling. So that's what I got, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, boom, let's keep on vaping. That's enough.